good y'all welcome back to another video hey if you new make sure you leave a like comment share subscribe turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video now today i told y'all i was gonna drop the spoiler reaction huh whoops god spoiler review for deadpool wolverine i've already dropped my spoiler free uh review so if you haven't seen that i suggest you go check it. especially if you haven't seen the movie if you haven't watched the movie and you kind of want to hear like what i thought about the movie without spoiling anything Go, go check that video out like right now i'm gonna put the poll up right here somewhere i'm gonna put it up right here somewhere so you guys can go check that out and then you come back or i'm gonna link it down below too i'm gonna link it down below and then once you guys are done watching the movie once you finish once you once you see the movie come back to this video and i'm gonna tell you like everything of like you know what i'm saying right now if you haven't seen the movie again if you haven't seen the movie i'm gonna give y'all i'm gonna give y'all like five seconds to click off this video five seconds Okay, we good. If you're still watching this video right now, and you haven't seen the movie, this is, that's completely on you. So boom, bro. Boom, dog. Dog. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, I did not expect Blade, Wesley Snipes Blade to be in the movie. I did not expect that. They brought in Blade, they brought in Elektra, they brought in fucking Gambit. And they did, bro, they even brought in fucking Chris Evans, Human Torch. <laughs> The OG Human Torch. They bro, like when I was watching it, my homeboy was like, he thought, well at first, like the hooded figure, Deadpool was like, oh, I know who this guy is. He's one of the most, one of the most spectacular characters. He's one of the most, you know what I'm saying? He was hyping him up and, my, and then my friend, and like my homeboy to the left, he thought it was Dr. Doom. But I'm like, nah, bro, that Dr. Doom, nah. I, I didn't even think about it, but then he, then, he took his, then he took his hood off. He took his hood off, it was Chris Evans. I'm like, okay, nah, he not Captain America. He can't be Captain America because I, I saw that little, I saw that little, the little dark blue on his suit. And then Deadpool was like, Deadpool was like, he's gonna say the Avengers Assemble. That as so, soon as I heard him say, Wait up! bro, oh my God, bro, I was, so, bro, I was so hyped, bro. But nah, I ain't like how Deadpool did him in the movie though. Cause I ain't gonna lie, that, that that pissed me off for like the whole movie because Deadpool he lied to Cassandra, saying, oh, he said this about you, he said that about you. He was like, no, I didn't. No, no, no. Only, for, only, for, only for Cassandra to kill, kill the Human Torch. <laughs> that pissed me off so bad. Like she, like she killed him. Like, like she, like disintegrated. Like she ripped the skin off his body, bro. I, I was surprised in, in the beginning when they showed Happy Hogan because that was, that was one of the, that was one of the last cameos I expected to see. When they showed him. I was like, Happy? Okay. Not mad at it, because in the beginning of the movie, Deadpool he went to the main the main MCU. He went there to try to to try to be part of the uh, Avengers, and Happy was like, uh, I don't I don't think you'll be a great fit. You know, I I think you know you could like I don't think you're like I don't think you'll be a good part of this uh, this world I mean, or this. Deadpool made it seem like he won because he was like he made it seem like he was kind of not desperate but he was like he like like it's like he it's like, it's like he really needed to be there, and then Happy was like. The Avengers, they don't do it because they need to. They do it because we need them. I was like, ah, I like that. I like that. While Deadpool gets pulled by the TVA, he figures out the reason why his world is dying is because of the, the fact that, I guess it had, maybe I'm wrong. I guess because it had no no Wolverine in it, I guess. That's what I, that's what they made it come to me. I could be wrong in the comments. Y'all let, let me know. Because bro was like, he was like, your world like like dying. We'll do whatever and the only one that can save it is wolverine but you don't have a wolverine in your universe so the part so the so there's, so there's a part of the movie where deadpool is going through each through each universe to, to grab a wolverine and this is the part in, the, in my in my last video yeah this is the part where i was like there's a certain wolverine who i thought he was gonna grab there it's like a split second deadpool goes to he, he he goes to one of the wolverines and once he gets there that wolverine is fighting the hulk and bro that bro that was bro he's fighting the hulk but y'all don't understand bro y'all don't understand like that that's like a little glimpse bro because everybody know wolverine and hulk are supposed to fight each other so that little like oh they have fought each other in the comics i thought that was going to be the wolverine he was on the ground but that wasn't he can he the wolverine he comes across he was he was um at a bar and apparently he was one of the worst Wolverines, according to um, according to the um, the TVA dude. He was like, "You grabbed the worst Wolverine in history." I was like, "The worst." I'm like, 
So they go through the whole journey. No, they end up in the void because like they end up. I forgot they end up in the void because the dude like hit him with that you know that little disappearing stick. I'm surprised Mobius didn't make a cameo. Mobius wasn't in the movie. I didn't think Loki was gonna make a pick appearance, but Mobius, I'm surprised he didn't. But yeah, then once we get to the void, that's when the whole thing with Chris Evans, when the human torch happens. And then, oh, after that, no, then Sabretooth. But then they, why ain't like they spoiled that? They spoiled that. I didn't like that. They spoiled that early on. I did not like that. They should have kept that for the movie. For the ones who's been on the internet, they know, like y'all know that they spoiled that for the movie. Like, they spoiled that, and then they spoiled his daughter coming back, Wolverine's daughter. I don't like the fact, it's see, bro, one thing about me, especially like, if you're trying to, trying to like hold a lot of good shit for a movie that you don't want information coming out about before the movie comes out please bro stop stop releasing so much footage stop don't like bro like his daughter coming back i wouldn't expect her to come back they could have left that alone or they or they could have kept it secretive but they didn't same thing with sabertooth they could have kept that secretive but they didn't but no when sabertooth came back i ain't gonna lie they, that was just, that was really for fan services because as soon as he showed up, Wolverine killed that nigga quickly. He killed that nigga quickly. Like we thought they was finna really go at it. Wolverine like just cut that nigga head off so quick. I was like, damn, bro. This is what and this is where I was like, I didn't know where the movie was gonna go was with villains because majority of the like of the movie, Cassandra was the villain. And then there's a scene in the movie where Pyro and the TVA dude talking to each other and then pretty much saying like oh you got like the tva dude told pyro i want you to kill uh, cassandra and i'm like why like he already got her down there like why like like what the fuck like what for and that's when that's when i was like okay so it's shifting that the, the villain is shifting so he's the real villain cassandra is you know what i'm saying so wolverine wolverine and Deadpool well, they fight twice the first fight they had was before before um saber two that fight was crazy that fight was insane like after watching logan it, it hit different when, when Wolverine couldn't regenerate and shit like that. But then every time Deadpool kept stabbing him and stabbing him, and that nigga was eating that shit. Then it was then the part where like he had both his swords and Wolverine. Wolverine was just like eating that shit. Then they second they had a second fight only because no, because like Wolverine told Deadpool how it was like, bro, you're a joke. Like, bro, you don't take nothing serious. Like, this is a serious matter. You don't take nothing serious, bro. And, and this is the reason why your family or your world is gonna die because you don't take shit serious. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? And Deadpool was just like, okay, nah, nigga. See, now nah, I'm taking this shit. I'm about to fight you now, type shit. The way they introduced all the other, it was perfect the way they introduced all the other cameos. You know what I'm saying? Because after they fought, Wolverine's daughter showed up. She drove them back to their little hideout, whatever. That's when that's when Elektra showed up. She she came in first, and then fuck my nigga Blade came through that motherfucker, bro. Blade came through, and then Gambit came through, played by Channing Tatum. Thank you, thank you. Cause we know that man been trying to play Gambit for the longest. I'm glad, I'm glad he finally got his chance and shine to play to play Gambit. Like it's been it's been long overdue. I thought we were gonna have more cameos because because Electra was like like it's the four of us or or the five of us, whatever. And that's when Wolverine's daughter came in. If you ask me, I really felt like they could have had more cameos. Like I really thought it, Jessica Alba, Sue Storm was gonna show up. I would like I, I would have said Storm could have showed up. Invisible Woman could have showed up. Maybe the thing, I don't know. Cause this really felt like, this really felt like No Way Home, but the Deadpool, well the, but No Way Home, but the Fox version, if that makes sense. I ain't like, they could have brought in Magneto, either Magneto or Mystique. We did get a, we did get a, um, we also got a Juggernaut cameo. I didn't know if that was the same actor or not though, cause he looked almost just like him, but I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this, I forgot to say this. There was also a scene in the movie, the scene where, um, where Deadpool was going, through each multiverse and each world to find the perfect Wolverine. He gets to one specific Wolverine and and it looks like you would think it's like the 2009 Wolverine from X-Men Origins, but you turn around, it's fucking Henry, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill! It was so crazy, bro. Everybody, every I seen a lot of people kind of fan casted him as Wolverine. Some people say he could play him. Some people say he they, they don't see him playing him. Bro, if you go, again, if if you go if you seen this if you seen the scene, me personally I feel like Wolverine Henry Cavill can play with play Wolverine. He doesn't have to play him like Hugh Jackman. We know Hugh Jackman embodied that role. Wolverine Hugh Jackman is Wolverine, but I can also see Henry Cavill playing Wolverine, but in his own way. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to agree with me. That's just my opinion. So then they go fight Cassandra. The fight where they were fighting Cassandra, I thought you know, I thought these niggas was gonna die. I thought Blade was finna die, cause, cause again, cause Deadpool got Human Torch killed. 
I thought Blade was finna die. I thought Electro was finna die because they came in, they came in fucking shit up. But then towards like when the fight was damn near over or about to be over, it seemed like these niggas was finna lose. And I was like, ah, shit. I'm like, like, please. Cause I, cause we, cause again, I just got done watching Blade, all three, all three Blade movies. And I think that's why I was more hyped when I saw that shit. Cause I was like, he was the last nigga I expected to see. The line where Blade was like, there's only one Blade and it's ever, there's only ever gonna be one Blade. I did, I like that. Even we, even, even though we know Mahershala Ali, Blade, Blade is still like, we don't know what's going on with that movie. But that line was good for what it was. You know, it was a, it was a good line. I ain't gonna lie, a Ghost Rider cameo could have been good. Nicholas Cage Ghost Rider. I thought this, I, yeah, I thought that could have been a good cameo. But again, that's just me. Oh yeah, we the lady, the the black lady from from Loki. She came back. She came back for like for like the last for like the last twenty minutes of the movie. Oh no, the fucking um when all the Deadpool showed up, that was a good fucking scene. But, and I'm glad I just said that because there's a there's a, a specific Deadpool, I guess his name was Nicepool. Nicepool, who was played who played by Ryan Rose. Uh, Nicepool, he was the one that had Dogpool the whole movie and every time Dogpool showed up, he kept going to our original Deadpool. And the whole time, our Deadpool was beefing with Nicepool. Not really beefing, but he was more so like, he ain't like the, you know Deadpool don't like nobody for real. It's because of the dog, bro. It's because of the dog and the guns too, because that, that man had he had some golden guns that he wanted to. So it was the guns and it was the dog. So the, all the other Deadpool was gonna kill the main Deadpool. This nigga, this nigga Deadpool was like, he was like, I'm gonna get you. He told Nice Pool, I'm gonna get you to safety. The fact, bro, he he drags this nigga. Well, he well he, well, he attempts to drag him to, to safety, only for this man to have he, he holding this man in the middle of the fire like, like basically like nice pool getting shot the whole time our deadpool really being petty he just holding him there the whole time until he's until like he fully dies and i'm like dude you being petty bro like stop it you being petty just because you want the dog and the guns which he eventually ends up getting and like the last 10 minutes where it was his, well it was his device that the tva dude built i don't know if it was supposed to just erase all the worlds and just keep the void. I know Cassandra was like, now that you see, since you built this, since, since you built this device, I'm gonna erase all the all the worlds. I'm gonna just, the only thing gonna be left is the void. I love the way Deadpool and Wolverine stopped it. And when they were, and then when they were doing it, when they were doing it for a second. I did think that wait, this is this is where Deadpool supposed to get his uh teleportation powers because Deadpool supposed to teleport. He's supposed to get his teleportation powers. I'm thinking to myself, is this where he gets his teleporting powers? That would, and I was hoping that I was hoping that too. Like they could have had a, I was hoping that, but he didn't. They didn't. He didn't. I guess he didn't get his, his teleport powers from that. I thought it would have been a scene where he would have teleported from one area to the next area, but he didn't do that. They did have a, a, a shawarma, a shawarma scene in the in the movie where they was like, let's go get some shawarma, and I, I like that. You know, kind of kind of a callback to the first Avengers movie when. Um, the end, of the, the end of the battle, they go get their shawarma. I like that. Now, I ain't gonna lie, it was a lot of, I'm not gonna say it was a lot of Avengers, Avengers and Easter eggs, but it was a lot of, they was, they was giving praise to the Avengers. They were they were giving praise to the Avengers like in some scenes, and I, and I like that. But it was more of a Fox tribute to like all the like, all the like, all the Fox characters. Even the ones that didn't show up, it was just a tribute to like the, all the Fox characters. It's like, just, just the Fox universe in general. You know, from the old Fantastic Four, you know, saying to the old X Men, just like, like anything Fox related with Marvel, that's it was it was a tribute. I still give it a nine out of ten. I want to go watch it again, but I still give it a nine, a nine out of ten. Now the post credit scene pissed me off. <laughs> that shit. It really like the post credit scene was really just Daredevil. God. Pretty much the post credit scene was Deadpool faking like uh, Chris Evans, Human Torch was talking shit about Cassandra, and and he, he was. Like, and it, and it pissed me off so bad. It's like, bro, like this nigga was controlling the audio, controlling the footage, making it seem like, oh, Human Torch said this and not. In actuality, we know he didn't. We know he didn't. But it was just, it was just like a little, like a little like uh, poking fun, you know, saying post credit scene, just like little, little, some, some, some silly shit, you know. It wasn't nothing that was gonna like continue on into the next movie, because because way because where Marvel is right now, we don't really know oh what's gonna happen next or like like what's gonna happen next to set up the next film. Like it wasn't that. So if, if you guys, so just so you know, if you guys thought it was gonna do that, it wasn't that. Speaking of Daredevil, they mentioned they, they mentioned Daredevil and they, and they did mention Punisher. It was another person they mentioned too. I forgot. Definitely like I, I will go watch this again. And oh, I, oh, I forgot one more thing. They did give Wolverine his mask. They gave Wolverine his mask. He he got to wear his mask in the last the last 15 minutes of the movie. They gave him his mask, bro. 
and that shit looked he, like like he he was he looked very comic accurate, very comic accurate. He had he had the he had the his had he had his mask. He, he had the the, uh, the sleeveless outfit, uh, his suit, you know. Cause I was, cause they were so unexpected. I was like, you know, like, cause we're so used to Wolverine. First of all, not wearing his, his his costume at all. Either he's shirtless, or he's wearing a tank top, whatever. He, he, he we, we never not once seen him in his costume. The only time before this movie, the only time we see him possibly wearing a costume was at the end of the Wolverine, when I think it was Kyoko. That was her name, right? When she when, she, when they was on the plane and she kind of gave him his suit, and he was like, mm, I don't know about this. You know, just a little tease of what could happen, but you know fucking 10 well 11 years later you know we, we got that nine out of ten the only reason why i not give it a 10 i think it's just like just certain cameos that, that didn't show up and i thought the story was the story was good the cameos and then the villain that was really it. not a bad villain just like i felt like because with the shit she was doing i thought she would have been on kane's level and a lot of people talk shit about kane just because of what happened in ant-man 3 and that was before no, nah, and I'm sorry, that was after the Jonathan Major situation. But I, I don't want to get into all of that. Because nobody was really talking down on Kang until that situation popped up. Let's, just, let's keep it to be. Also, I really... I, another thing that didn't stick out to me, I wish Blade would have had his... Blade really didn't have his comic accurate. Like, he didn't have his jacket. He had his guns on him, though. He had his gun, but he didn't have his sword with him. He had, like, a little, like, machete. Like, a little mini machete. That was cool, but I really wish... I wish, I wish Bro would have, you know what I'm saying, had his sword with him. But it's all good though, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know, Secret Wars is like this times a billion. And me personally, I'm gonna say this real quick. I don't want Secret Wars to be just one movie. You know, cause we cause, cause we all know originally Secret Wars was supposed to be like, like Secret Wars was supposed to be like, like like the end game and then King, King Dynasty was the Infinity War. If you ask me, if you ask me, I feel like Secret Wars should just be split into two parts. Cause that, cause that's too big of a movie. You trying to, you trying to bring in like, probably like sixty plus characters in a, in a, in one movie. And you're trying to tell one single story. That, it's, 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 too, it's too, that's too big. I feel like they should split this shit in. in you know what I'm saying? I say the first half have like all the, the cameos and the original characters and the, you know what I'm saying? Some can die off in that movie, and then bring the second half. But we'll, 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 we'll get there when we get there. That's about it, though. If I forgot anything, let me know in the comments below. We'll talk about it there. And let me know your thoughts about the movie, too, as well. But comment down below what you want to see next. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video and the channel as well. Also, like the video, too. Liking the video, you know what I'm saying? Helps out a lot, you know what I'm saying? Get you push across the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys really, 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 really want to see more of me, get my channel out there and growing, you have to like the video. Hit that Patreon link below. If y'all want to see all my full reactions to all my shows and movies, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of stuff on there that's not that's not on YouTube. That's that's on Patreon. So until next time. Stay lit.